I was in the biology department, joined it in 1957, back when Willie Wade Haggard was president. And I don't remember what our enrollment was in 1957. I would guess probably uh, two or three thousand. But we've added students year after year after year, got larger and larger and larger. I think about all the things that have gone on in the student body as they were stomping around and demonstrating and protesting the Vietnam War and all that stuff. Those were memories. Think about living in the, the old Canada house, that was the president's house, with my family and uh, the events that occurred in that period of time. Sixty-seven. Oh yeah, and, and I was president until 1975. That was eight years, one month, three days, I think. My big concern was that the faculty really be devoted to helping students learn. And I spent an awful lot of time taking students on beach walks and that kind of thing, because that was my commitment. You know. Western is a damn good uh, university in my opinion, because the faculty are committed to uh, helping young people learn. And I think Bruce is a good president. And I think his predecessor was a good president. And I'm so glad they named that Kent Street building after him. Oh, good old fairy, isn't it? <laughs> It was certainly the first cluster college of Western. And it was similar in some ways to a cluster college been established at Florida State University. And other places had done it too. So that it wasn't original here at Western. But it was a new it was original at Western, but not in the world. The idea was they wanted to have a college with a dean and that they would make their own decisions and it would report directly to the president, not to an assistant dean or some person down the line and they would have the power to create their own curriculum. I think it was a good idea. I still like it. Been taking people on walks on the beaches for years. I did that down in Stewart, Florida when I was teaching high school. And I did that as a student, a graduate student at the University of Florida. And when I got out here at Western, I continued to do the same kind of thing. And I ran into Al Swift. He knew I was doing that kind of stuff. Maybe he went on one of my early beach walks, I don't know. But he, he's the one that talked me into putting on a, a regular program, Type Pool Critters. Someone would be up there with a TV camera projecting it, it would go in the air. And as soon as we were through, that was dead as a horse. I was dead white and was Yeah. Oh yeah, we did a lot of that stuff. And did I think it was important? I don't know whether I did or not. I knew I had to do it, because uh, I really then and still do believe in the principle of young people learning, building good lives. And that, that was an outflow thing for Huxley too, because uh, Huxley, we did a lot of that stuff. If we can actually be there looking at these things, it's something that will have more effect on your mind, at least you'll remember. I don't give a damn. You know, that's something I never think about, really. I like my kids to remember me. I don't know why, but I think it's mainly because of the DNA transmission. <laughs> but I don't care whether Western remembers me. I, I remember Western, and I was committed to the place, and still am. Well, I want it to be a place that helps people have a good life. That's what I want. How do you establish that? By the commitment, being committed to the education of young people. And that's what I hope we really adhere to. And let that be most important. And let second importance be writing books, doing research.
Search is fine. In my judgment, the other is more important. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah.